Good morning to everyone. Now we are going to see the topic integration by parts under integration. Myself, Dr. P. Sona, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, Dr. M. J. Educational and Research Institute, Chennai. Let's see integration by parts. So integration by parts is a special method of integration that is often useful when two functions are multiplied together. And it is also helpful in many other ways. Uh, we are going to see some examples here. And uh, first, let us see the rule. Let u and v be two functions of x. Then integral u dv is equal to u v minus integral v dv. This is the rule of integration by parts. So here, how to choose the functions u and dv? Any rule we have to follow? How to choose the u and dv? Let's check it out. A helpful rule of thumb is i late is there to choose the function u. So choose u based on which of them comes first. That is, in the order of i late, which one is coming first? That you have to take it as u. So first, what is the meaning for i? i represents the inverse trigonometric function such as sine inverse of x, cos inverse of x, tan inverse of x, etc. So i represents the inverse trigonometric function. L represents the logarithmic function such as log x, log x to the base 10 or e something. Then a represents the algebraic function such as x square, x cube and all. T represents the trigonometric function such as sin x, cos x, tan x, etc. And E represents the exponential function such as e power x, 3 power x, etc. So this is the uh, expansions of i late. And according to this order only, we have to select the value of u. Okay. Select the function for u. And the remaining thing we can take it for dv. So let's see in the example. An example on tablet column we are having here you see one function is uh, f of x value is given and how to find the value of u and dv it is given here so see here f of x is uh, in the first one x square into cos 2x x square is the which function which is an algebraic function and cos 2x is the trigonometric function so according to our rule i late which one is coming first Yes, algebraic is coming first. So, uh, here instead of u, u value, we have to take it as x square. Remaining all, that is in remaining means cos 2x into dx. Combinedly, we have to take it for dv. This is the uh, in the example one. Let's see the second example. Uh, x into cos inverse x. x is the algebraic one. Cos inverse is the inverse trigonometrical function. So, which one is coming first here? inverse i comes first so cos inverse x we have to take it for u and the remaining x dx we have to take it for dv similarly in the third case this is the algebraic one this is the exponential one so algebraic uh, is come a comes first so x cube we have to take it for uh, u and the remaining e power 7x dx we have to take it for dv so likewise you have to take in the given questions so let's move on to the example See the example. Evaluate integral x into tan inverse x dx. So here, first of all, we have to give the integration by parts rule. So by using integration by parts, we know integral u dv is equal to u v minus integral v du. So in this question, you see x is multiplied with tan inverse x. So definitely we have to go with the integration by parts rule. So first of all, you have to identify which is u and which is dv. So we have to select according to the i late rule. So here, a is the, a represents the algebraic function. Tan inverse x is the inverse trigonometrical function. So which is coming first in the order of i late? i comes first so what we have to take let u is equal to tan inverse x then the remaining that is x dx will be taken for dv that is let dv is equal to x into dx so according to the rule of i late we have taken u and dv next we have to find the value for du as well as v so how you find du du is nothing but the derivative of u that is the differentiation of tan inverse of x. What is the differentiation of tan inverse x? 
yes 1 by 1 plus x square so du is equal to or du by dx is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square or du is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square into dx then how do you find v dv is given so v is equal to we have to take the integration of uh, dv that using that you can easily find a value for v so v is nothing but integration of dv so integration of x into dx what is the integration of x yes x square by 2 this is the integration of x using the formula x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so now we got the value for u v du as well as dv so let's move on to the question so therefore the given question is equal to integral x into tan inverse of x dx is equal to you write the formula yes, yes, that is here you can write uv minus integral vd so instead of u and v and vd du just you replace it by the values u is nothing but uh, tan inverse of x and v is nothing but x square by 2 and likewise you put the values so then we are getting the values like this so x square by 2 tan inverse x minus integral x square by 2 1 1 by 1 plus x square dx so you see in the next term first term i think yeah we got second term we have to take the integration for x square by 2 into 1 plus x square dx so directly we are not having any formula here so just we can do some adjustments uh, to get the integration easily so here we are adding 1 1 and subtracting 1 in the numerator so you see x square plus 1 minus 1 so therefore there will there is no changes directly just we have added 1 1 and subtracted 1 1 that's all so now you see now we are going to split the values by 2 that is uh, x square by 1 plus x square plus 1 by 1 plus x square and minus 1 by 1 plus x square accordingly we are going to split likewise so just we can cancel these two because 1 plus x square and uh, 1 plus x square will cancel so first term integration dx will come in the next minus 1 by 1 plus x square dx and we have to put the c because the given question is the indefinite integral so finally i have to put the constant c so simplify this step x square by 2 tan inverse x minus 1 by 2 into integral dx minus integration of 1 by 1 plus x square the formula for this integration is tan inverse x so just to replace it by tan inverse x plus c then the next step integration of dx becomes x so integration of this dx becomes x so finally we are multiplying this minus inside so 1 by 2 is common for all terms so we have taken it out so 1 by 2 min into x square tan inverse x plus tan inverse x because minus of minus tan inverse becomes plus then uh, integration of dx becomes x so minus x plus c because this is the indefinite integral so we have to put plus c let's move on to the next question see the example integrate x square into e power minus x dx so here first we can give the formula uh, that is integration by parts rule integral u dv is equal to u v minus integral v dv. Here you see here x square is multiplied with e power minus x in this question. So here definitely I have to go with the uh, rule of integration by parts. So for that we have to choose the value for uh, u and dv first. So how to choose u and dv according to the highlight rule. So here let's check it out. First x square. x square is the algebraic function and e power minus x is the exponential function so which comes first according to the ruler of i late yes definitely algebraic a comes first so we have to take let u is equal to x square and the remaining dv is equal to e power minus x dx so then what we have to find after taking u and dv yes du and v we have to find so du is equal to differentiation of x square which is equal to 2x dx according to the rule of x power n differentiation is n x power n minus 1 according to that formula we have found the answer then v is, v is equal to integration of dv that is integration of e power minus x is e minus e power minus x so we got the answer therefore the given question becomes just you put the values of u v du and dv in the formula of uv minus integral v du just you replace 
Next and simplify this. Here we have 2 is the constant. So we have taken it out and uh, remaining integral x into e power minus x dx. So we have to integrate this term now. Once again you see here this uh, x into e power minus x is also belonging to the integration by parts rule. Isn't it? Because x is multiplied with e power x. So once again we have to apply the rule of integration by parts. So let's check it out how. Uh, so here once again I have to consider the value for u. So we know here x is the algebraic one and e power minus x is the exponential one and so definitely I have to take uh, u is equal to x and dv is equal to the remaining e power minus x dx. So here also we have to find du as well as v. Then you find the value for this integration by putting in the formula uv minus integral v du. Therefore now our given uh, question that which becomes just to replace the value of this circled one from this. Put the value here. Okay. So we are getting like uh, this one minus x square e power minus x plus 2 into minus x into e power minus x minus of minus plus the integration of e power minus x again. So again e power integration of e power minus x becomes minus in the e power minus x. Then we have to put the constant c because the given question is the indefinite integral. Now you see in all the uh, terms e minus e power minus x is common. You see here, here, here. So just you take it out. That is uh, minus e power x we can take commonly outside. So it becomes minus e power minus x into x square plus 2x plus 2 plus c. Okay. So now we got the answer for the question. So we have used the ILATE rule to identify the value for u and dv. Then applied the uh, method of integration by parts. Then we got the answer. So here. Yeah. These are the check your understanding questions. Check it by yourself and try. Thank you.